Diet, Health and Hygiene Factors of a Balanced Diet, Part 1 The aims of this podcast are to explain some factors for a balanced diet. To achieve a good level of fitness, somebody has to eat a balanced diet. The balanced diet will include fat, protein, carbohydrates, vitamins and minerals and water and fibre. Fat can provide up to 30% of the body's energy. Other advantages of fat are that it will insulate the body against cold. It's also a long-term energy store. If over a long period of time you need to burn off quite a lot of energy, ultimately your body will burn off fat. Fat will also cushion your organs, so it just adds a layer of protection around them to keep them safe. Fat is also provides the basics of cell structure and it also provides essential fatty acids that will allow you to be able to digest and process food. Examples of fats include things like butter and oils. Protein is another part of the balanced diet and protein's role is that it's important for the building of muscles. Protein will also repair damaged tissues. You get proteins from meat so chicken, beef, lamb are all forms of protein as well as eggs and fish. Carbohydrates are another main form of energy. When you eat carbohydrates it's the immediate energy source for the exercise that you do. Carbohydrates are easily converted to glycogen and glycogen can be stored in the liver and the muscles and they can straight away fuel the muscles, fuel them with the energy that they need to exercise. Examples of carbohydrate are bread, pasta, cereals, rice, potatoes and vegetables. So to achieve a good level of fitness you have to eat a balanced diet. And a balanced diet includes fat, protein, carbohydrate, uh, vitamins and minerals, water and fibre.